Welcome to Tabletop Tactics and welcome to this 10th edition battle report. Today we have the Tau Empire, their spheres expanding and crashing into an orc planet. Diplomacy has unsurprisingly failed, but will their firepower be enough to stop the unending green tide of the orcs and their war? We will have to stay tuned to find out, but for now, let's check in with the players and check the lists. It's me, War Boss Chef. Yeah, I'm in charge today, mainly because uh, Spider was very busy and he had to do lots of the learning. And it's very hard when you're an orc to do the learning. Um, but fortunately, I'm one of the big brain odd boys, so I can learn very, very quick. Hello, it's me, uh, Real Chef, not Orc Chef. Today we have, I mean, look, there's no point talking about the detachment rules because we have one. And this is going to be a theme for a little bit. So we have the orcs today. Leading it up as my warlord is a war boss because you must. You don't have to. That's not a must, but you must because that's the narrative, obviously. Um, he has lots of gubbins. We've given him a power claw and a combi weapon because, hey, but why not? We've got an attack squeak, of course. Barty is here. Yes, he will munch all of the things. He is cunning but brutal as an enhancement, so he, his unit can fall back, shoot, and charge. And he will be leading a unit of 10 knobs. Nice and beefy boys, a mix of weapons because it's cool. I think, statistically speaking, all power claws is better because of the higher strength and AP. Um, so maybe I'll do that, but I mean, for now, I'm just going to do a nice little 50 50 split because that's cool. They will be riding around in a battle wagon which has. All of the upgrades because, again, it's free, why not? So that's what I'm going to do. And we've given them a kill cannon and an art case um, because I don't need to put all of the models in there. I've already got 11, happy days. Let's make them toughness beef, yes. Second in command, we've got a big mech in mega armor, custom force field on the top. We've got custom blaster, power claw, and he has the super cyborg body for a nice little four up feel no pain, just in case he gets sniped. And he will be leading around a unit of five mega knobs, because you can do five. It's because the box comes in boxes of three. You can have two boxes, but you can build one of those as a character. So it's like that was fought about, which is nice. They will have power claws and combi shooters. They will be riding around in a truck otherwise known as a nuclear tactical missile. And then it explodes with knobs inside it, which is a horrifying prospect. We then have our third in command. It's Barney! He's here, the knob on uh, Smash a Squig, otherwise known as Hog Knob. Yep, it's canon now. He will be leading a unit of six Squig Hog Boys because finally they can lead them into battle. They always should have been part of the unit, and now that they are. Good time indeed. Bomb squigs galore because bomb squigs, of course. We then have one of every buggy because I'm a maniac and I cannot be stopped. We then have beast snagger boys, 10 of them inside a kill rig. And finally, just to please Bard, we have two mech guns. They're both bubble chuckers. Yes! Where diplomacy fails, the mighty battle suit will do the rest. That is the ancient teachings of the Ta'au, and they are here in 10th edition with lots of guns and lots of firepower ready to kill their enemies. Um, it's quite straightforward, the list today. I'm trying to take a menagerie of all the sort of new, I say new things, all the sort of old favourites, how some stuff has changed, things we're used to, just to get a sense of how the Ta'au are doing now with their new index. Leading up this force today is Shadow Sun. We haven't seen her in a little while, so I thought it'd be nice to give her a run out. She is a lone operative, so I can kind of go where she is best needed. Does all make her quite resilient and able to be hidden, which is very, very nice indeed. Plus, she gives out a reroll aura, so that's nice. I then have a Cold Star Commander. I actually think of the um, commanders, this is potentially my favourite, bar maybe Farsight. But I wanted to try something different today, because I know we've been using Farsight a lot, and he will come up soon. Um, the Cold Star Commander does have Exemplar of the Kaoyon as enhancement, which means the Cal Yon retraction rule um, happens a bit sooner for the unit he's leading, which is six crisis suits. They've gone the kind of classic loadout, well, classic bard loadout. 
of double plasma and the missiles gets a nice benchmark. We know what it used to do. Let's see how it does in 10th edition. Um, each of the suits do also have two shield drones to give them extra wounds which is very, very nice. Um, it's a serious brick of death, and it's also quite resilient um, given the amount of wounds they do have, and they can zip around given the cold star with some strategy and support as well. I do then have two strike teams. Um, these are just the regular fire warriors. They'll be good for just objective holding and sort of moving around, keeping my board edges safe. I then have a breacher team. This is being led by Cadre Fireblade, and he has the Pure Tide Engram Neuro Chip, um, which means he can use a stratagem um, for free once per turn um, if it's already been used, which is very, very nice. These guys will be riding around in a Devilfish because, of course, they are Fish of Fury, baby. Um, I do then have a Ghost Kill. I think they're excellent. Um, we'll see how they actually perform in today's game. Um, on paper, I think they're really quite powerful, especially because they get lone operative and stealth. Um, and they've got quite good range on their weapons. They can kind of stay completely hidden, um, but still contribute to the battle. Um, so I'm intrigued to see how they actually perform once they get into a real live fire situation. I have two stealth teams. Um, I'm kind of using these guys as my observer units. I'll explain more how observer units when we get into the game, um, but they're quite useful for helping buff um, other units and give out um, the bonuses to ballistic skill through the detachment rules and army rules. So hopefully they will do their job there. I do then also have a Riptide. Rippy T! Give them the heavy burst cannon just because I think it's a nice all-rounder. Um, especially now you've got quite a lot of accents to anti-tank. A lot of your weapons are quite potent. It's nice to have some mid-range firepower too. Speaking of anti-tank, I have two broadsides. I know, right? I feel I love the broadside. I think it's such a cool model. Um, so to have these guys back in sort of quite, quite potent um, is very nice indeed. I have given them the magnum rails. I, I personally think it's the coolest option because it's a big robot wielding a massive magnum rifle. What can you not love about that? Um, so that's going to be doing the job and hopefully able to deal with some um, scarier targets given its potent firepower. I do then, to round out the list, have a fire sight marksman. Um, this is an interesting one. I do feel precision is going to be super, super useful um, as we go forward in 10th edition, so I'm aiming to test that theory today. That is the list. It is 2,000 points on the nose to the battlefield. Today's mission is the Ritual. After setting up the battlefield, all objectives in no man's land except for the one closest to the center are removed. One unit from a player's army that is not battle shocked can set up an objective in no man's land instead of shooting or charging. At the end of the turn, one objective marker is set up on the battlefield within one inch of that unit, wholly within no man's land, and exactly nine inches away from one other objective, and at least six inches away from all other objectives. Players score five victory points for each objective marker they control in no man's land at the end of their command phase. The player going second instead scores at the end of their turn in battle round five. This mission can score a maximum of 15 victory points per turn and cannot be scored in the first battle round. Each player also determines if they are playing fixed or tactical for their secondary missions. Welcome to Orc Town! <laughs> Population me! Uh, what's in the cemetery? You. Yeah, I like to think that in this building here, there's loads of ethereals that have tried to have a nice civilized meeting with some war boss that's then just like shot them under the table. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, their first mistake though. was going to the dock shop rather than yeah. the war bosses uh, up. Yeah, yeah. They walked <laughs> in and the cyborgs are just like, oh, hello. There's <laughs> nothing suspicious about this at all. No, no, no. <laughs> Our esteemed guests. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm very excited for this game. I mean, look, it's, it's, it's orcs. It's going to have a fun time. It's Tau. Going to have a fun time. time. We're in Orc Town. Going to have a fun time. We're playing the ritual today. Yes. So we've got multiple objectives which we get to set up during the game, which is sure, fun. Cool. We're multi-balling. We've got three mission rolls. Rules galore! It's a wild time. It is a wild time. And to note, I do have my breaches are in my devilfish, and I do have crisis suits up in the sky. Mm. It just seems fitting. I've got ten knobs and a war boss in a battle wagon. Amazing. I've got ten beast snaggers in a kill rig. Amazing. I've got five mega knobs in a big mecha mega knobber armor into, into the mega truck. <laughs> and nice. Barney leading the... Uh, because cool he's out the front, so he can be shot. No, 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 no. No, no longer. He, yeah. he leads the boys into battle. Oh, that's great. It's a good time. I've got little grots for tokens everywhere. Okay. None of the grots on the board are actually models. They're it's all just, tokens. This wound mark is for the esteemed bubble chuckers. As they should be. Visiting today. Um, buildings are enclosed ruins. Yep. And pretty much well, everything else stuff. is hey, what it comes up you see. It. 
Time for the roll off. Please. Oh, I thank you. Please. A five. Okay. Respectable. Oh, it doesn't beat a six though. I'll be going first then. Command phase. Yes. No war. So because the war only lasts for one battle round now, I would get a five of pinball, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. But then I'm going to lose the advance and charge, and I'm not able to do that this turn. Yes. I'm going to lose my strength, lose the attacks. I'm also going to lose a lot of the bonuses that I get for being in the war in combat on like my mega knobs and like yeah. my my um, and my uh, war boss. That's what he's called. That's what. Called. Um, what I did do is for the supply and line mission, I did roll a nice four plus to gain an extra CP because I am controlling my home objective. Ching. Great success. Weirdly, that's the only thing that it's useful for in this mission. Not worth any victory points. <laughs> yes, actually. Fine. Yeah. Um, secondary wise, not a bad start. I got area denial, which you can do uh, turn one in temp edition, and I also got bring it down. So I need to kill vehicles. Incidentally. All of the battle suits, apart from cell suits, are vehicles. Yeah, it's quite interesting now because they used to always just put being that weird midpoint, but now they are officially vehicles. But I'm not infantry. Which does mean you can, you can do your shooting out of combat stuff, which is fun, but yes. you do give up bringing down points. So nothing else to do in the command phase. Ooh. Let's do some movement. The custom booster blaster kicks things off with a nice big six. We will continue to roll all sixes all game. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> so now he can actually see stuff. The Grots are just wound markers, and then I can finally move him out. Doesn't matter what I roll on his advance because he's not going to be able to get far enough because you can't move over friendly vehicles. The Kill Rig also rolled a six on his advance. Get out of the way, tree, which enables him to go here next to the objective so that he's wholly within six of the center for area denial, netting me five secondary points. And in the shooting phase, he will be doing the ritual. The custom booster blaster, not quite as fast. He rolled a four, but that's fine. Gets into there. Sure. The shock jump dragster. <laughs> he has extra movement. He's not advanced, but I just you know. I advanced with the um, squig hog boys and got another six. Uh, so they activate uh, squig jumper protocols and will bound gracefully and majestically the other side of the kill rig, but not on the objective because that's cheating. Damn, he'll have to go that side then. The rest will form up behind. The battle wagon is just going to move along sideways so that he can get in range with his guns. The truck filled with mega knobs just moving up to here. Squig buggy just moving up to here. And then finally, the mech gun just moving round <laughs> to there so that it can see something. Yes. I feel it's only right to kick off with a bubble chucker. <laughs> yes! Bubbles! Bubbles! So we're going to start with this bubble chucker down here. Um, he's got only, he can only see two targets. So there's going to be cover galore. Yep. Um, but that's fine. But first we'll roll to see what bubble it is. Big bubble. Now, I have to admit, I, I, this makes more sense for the bubble chuckers. I do miss the fact that you never knew what you were getting into last you The so big it. bubble, uh, because this is the anti infantry one, is going to go into those fire warriors. Very well. Here. 2d6 blast. Oh, that's 14 shots, Bob. Oh, no. That's a lot of shots. I've been encouraging the bubble chuckers too much. That's a lot of shots. Okay. They've come back to haunt me. Uh, wow. Okay. I was not expecting no. to get that many dice out. Very well. <laughs> Uh, so I'm hitting on fours because I'm a grot and I'm re-rolling ones because yes. you have ten on my models because of the special rule splat. Okay. Yes. Not a bad start. Reroll those ones there. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad. Uh, strength six minus one. Ooh. So of course, three ones. Uh, three ones, uh, yep. <laughs> uh, five saves, but you are of course getting cover. Yes, what is the AP here? Normally? Just one. So Just you're one. normal four ups. Oh, sweet, cool. I'll use five saves. Eight, so. Five saves says hey, I. Yep. Bubbles! Oh, well, you, you do kill, kill three fire warriors. Not, not too shabby. It's all right, could have been a bit better out of 14 <laughs> shots, but like, never mind. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Bubble chucker number two. Yes. Uh, clearly he had stage fright, didn't want to be on camera. Um, I got the big bubble, I fired into the stealth suits. I've got, only got seven shots this time. I do hit you yes. three times. Uh, what is your toughness? Uh, they are tough as four. Three Stop. to wound you. Uh, one wound. One wound. Uh, minus one. Uh, but no cover here. Here yep. Uh, they do save, they do have a three up save base, which is very nice for them. Bubble chuckers. Shot down Grangster into the devil fish. The rockets, deep. The rockets. Three shots. Ooh, very nice. Fives to hit you. Never mind. No. <laughs> the shock rifle. It's a hit. 
it. Oh, blimey. If I get that again... That'd be very nice. Oh. <laughs> Does it explode? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the I other way no, you know what? I would have taken devastating wounds if it meant I took The other the way around. Wounds. Yeah, right, yeah. Nothing happens very well. Custom booster blaster now. Uh, just out of rapid fire range of the Riptide, but gonna go into him anyway because I wanna suppress him. Or rather, rivet him. It's yeah, called it rivet in Dakar. Uh, I do hit you twice, so you are suppressed That's now. very nice. That is minus one to hit until my next turn. Until the start of my next turn. Well, that's great. Crafty. Fives to wound you. No wounds, but no wounds. I've done- But you've done his job. I've done my duty. <laughs> the battle wagon. Yes. Oh, I did some, I did big shooters over here into the stealth suit, so I completely missed because I'm hitting on sixes. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, um, stealthy. Over here, we've got four big shooters and a lobber, yes. uh, which is indicated by this periscope, which actually is a targeting laser for uh, an orbital bombardment. I like that a lot. Like, but the lobber's somewhere else. But, but they're, they're actually orcs, so it's yeah. just like, it, it is literally just rocks being thrown from space. <laughs> you meant as in the lobber, he's no, no, lobbing no, no, no. orcs out of the calendar. No, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's just an orc elbow dropping from, from an asteroid. Uh, so that and the big shooters are going into the fire warriors over there, and awesome. the broadside just in front is going to take a kill cannon to the face. Ooh! Spicy. So let, I've rolled for my lobber. Uh, I've got uh, six shots total, plus the 12. It's all the same stats. Lots of shots. Not bad hitting for the orcs. Not bad at all. They're orcs. Uh, uh, there you go. Three wounds, no app. Three wounds, it's the fire warriors. Oh, I'll let you get your chest. All right. Hey, up. Um, one goes through. Yay. You shot to the one. heart and the You're battle wagon to blame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the kill cannon is D6 plus three into the broadside. That's what he's called. So three shots. Can't get the four shots even because maths is hard. Very good. <laughs> Final bit of shooting. Yeah. Rocket truck squig buggy. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do is fire everything into those fire warriors. Probably should have started with him because then I'd be getting an extra shot from my blast, but never mind. D6 plus six plus the one for the blast. It's a respectable 11. <laughs> a respectable, respectable 11. 11. Yes. Um, now, I'm ignoring cover and I get plus one to hit against infantry. This is a common theme with indirect fire weapons. <laughs> Almost like it may as well not have any negatives attached. Here we go. Ooh! Not bad, lads. Not bad. Not bad, lads, not at, bad all. at all. Uh, strength is five. Ah, uh, just a three, so we only wield three. Uh, ha! So four wounds at minus one and no cover, so five up. So five. Uh, yep! I saved, well, I saved two, actually. All right, um, so I have two more same. Killed a couple of fire warriors. Um, also, I mentioned the uh, kill rig was going to do the ritual action. It's not, because it doesn't have any assault weapons. So the squiggle boys do will do that instead. It's also better for me because I've got better maneuver length on my um, uh, objective. So I'm going to place that now because that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Thus end if my turn if. Yes if. Yes if. <laughs> yes. Um, I've placed the objective down with the ritual uh, exactly nine inches away at least six uh, from one objective, uh, at least six inches away from all other objectives and within an inch of the unit that did it. Really cool that uh, mission. Really, really nice. nice. Um, obviously can't score any points until my next command phase, but that's fine. Um, I did get area denial because I have one or more units that aren't battle shocked wholly within six of the center. Bring it down is still in play. Very nice. Proceed to shoot my stuff, but yes. please don't. <laughs> Turn one for the Tau! I have not a huge amount to do for my army in terms of command phase stuff, but I have rolled for my supply lines. Didn't unfortunately get the bonus CP, which is a bit of a shame, but hey, that's how it goes. Have drawn some cards. Um, investigate signals, got some options there. Extend battle lines. A bit tricky, that one. <laughs> hmm, don't want to extend that far towards all the stabby stuff. So it is possible for you to um, do it because you could ritual over here, right here with yeah. a unit that isn't going to shoot yeah. um, because you'll be six inches, nine inches, the way that the mission works. So you could get, because that happens at the end of the turn yes. and then you could get the extend for the five points there, but yeah. I am how, how much do you want those five points? Because yeah, you can't um, actually, I wouldn't be able to go over into No Man's Land over there and just pop an objective down because it has to be within range of a previous yeah, objective. You need, you need to string um, them out. Which is quite fun. Um, so a very interesting mission this. I've definitely got some thinking to do and some target priority to um, sort out. But I might have to just shoot some rail guns at some square gold boys. First things first, the Firesight Marksman um, is just sort of moving about this way so he can investigate the signal to get me some sweet, sweet victory points. Orders received. Wub, 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 wub. The Devilfish parks itself in the gap to prevent the vehicles from moving through it. Sort of, until it's destroyed and it dies in a horrible blazing inferno. The stealth suits are shuffling along this way, um, so they've got a choice of targets for some spotting and observing. And then the Riptide... <laughs> lands to deal death to the enemies of the town. 
The Ghost Keel is also moving forward to bring its cyclic Iron Raker into range of some Squig Hog boys. A slight adjustment from Shadow Sun just to get her into this little pocket here, so she can aid the mighty battle suits with her reroll auras. These stealth suits also just shuffling. I'm not going too crazy with the movement because obviously orcs like to be close to the Tau, and the Tau don't like to be close to anyone. So just some shuffling for potential homing beacon shenanigans next turn. These fire warriors are also shuffling around just to make sure they're a bit more behind this handy dandy bit of LOS. These fire warriors are then just stringing out so they can get a little bit more of a view of the battlefield so they can observe for the battle suits. Shooting phase for the Tau! Mm. And we have a brand new Greater Good! Oh. Yes! It's, it's a tricky one how it's written, but essentially it boils down to your units will be able to help your other units do some shooting. So in this particular instance, I want to shoot my broadside at your Squig Hog boys, because I don't like them and I'd like them to be dead. So to achieve that goal, the stealth suits are going to spot for the broadside and are the observer unit against said Squig Hog boys. Yes. What that means is the broadside will get plus one to hit. Yep. Only if he shoots the Squig Hog boys. Well, plus one ballistic skill. Plus one ballistic skill, which is important. Yep. Um, and then they have observed. So they can't then observe again for someone else. They've yep. done their duty. They can still shoot. Uh, they can someone. shoot. They can do all the rest of the business. But my broadside will benefit from them being like, them over there. That's scary. Um, so that's what's happening here. I'm going to start. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to do some trace fire. I'm going to start with the missile drones he has equipped with. Yes, we, we've got the SMS on his thing. Represented cool. by the it's SMS. Cool. Um, so I'll be hitting on fours here. I am automated turret. Rerun one's got a shadow sun, which is very nice. Good thing too. Oh, I have popped a CP. Yes, of oh, course. Oh, there's nails. So I'm minus one to wound. <laughs> minus one to wound. So you're tough with this normally seven. So what were you seven? doing on fives here? Because uh, it shrinks seven on the missiles. Oh, it's a missile pod. Yeah, yeah. which is quite interesting. Um, so no wounds there from the missiles. But you rolled a one there. And what stealth suits do. Oh, yes. So when a stealth suit is an observer unit, they get to reroll ones to wound it's for the guided nice. unit. So that's why they're quite good. It doesn't matter in this instance, right. but that is quite handy and as to why you might pick stealth suits over something like. Now, this is the scary bit. I don't like this. <laughs> as a Tau player, I don't like this. There is the railgun. Right, so because it's heavy and I've stood still, I get plus one to hit anyway. Mm -hmm. And also, I get plus one to my ballistic skill. So I'm hitting on twos with this railgun, rerunning ones because of Shadow Sun. Yeah. Ooh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. okay. Nice. So there we, there we are saying, and it just was perfectly fine. Yeah. What is the strength here? Strength 12. So you'd be wounding me on four, which is quite interesting. They're really tough, which mm. is nice. But. Okay, we roll on the one. one. <laughs> okay, so I at least wound you the once, which is nice. So what is, is the app? This <laughs> is minus four. So even with my cover, I don't get it. Yeah. Um, it's D6 plus one damage. Okay. I mean. <laughs> All right, they Jones. are three wounds, right? Uh, they are three wounds. Yep. I do have a five up feel no pain. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. How yep. are we doing? <laughs> it's like a okay. force one. We're rolling awfully. My uh, goodness. At least I have killed a square cook boy with the route gun. That would be what very sad if I had D6 hadn't. plus D6 plus one. And you rolled a one. Oh, <gasps> he's alive on a wound. Why do you hate me, dice? <laughs> right? Okay. Um, the stealth suits will try and see if they can plink off a wound. Um, there's one fusion blast that's that range. The two burst cannons. Um, oh, that's not bad. That's called a full hoose. A rarity for town. Well, all of you a minute ago. Yeah. Uh, right, I need that again, or it's better, if anything. Um, well, you need sixes. I have got one wound. They, they're not really wanting ones for themselves, obviously. That would be oh, nice. Oh, there's no. Um, that is just the one wound. Come on. Come on now. Yep. Yeah. Damage one. Just damage one. Feel no pain. Uh, I feel a little bit of pain. Yes. <laughs> Broadside number two. Um, the stealth suits over on the far flank are going to observe for it and we're going to shoot into the battle wagon. Um, the rail cannon and the seeker missile will be going into the battle wagon, but the plasma unfortunately isn't in range of anything else um, or isn't in range of that. So we'll go into the little buggy. So I'll have to yeah. hit on fives there, but that's kind of by the by. Um, so we will start with the rail gun. Okay. Yep. We'll be hitting on twos. You hit me both times. It is forced to win me. I'm tough as 12. Right, spicy. Hey, yeah. Oh, uh, oh well, that is a six to wounds, but it's devastating wounds here. Um, so that is just straight more wounds, but what is the number of mortal wounds? A five. A five mortal number. wounds, not half bad. Right, now for the Seeker Missile. Um, I can roll one because of Shadow Sun. That does hit. It does it. To wound you. That does wound. What is the minus? Minus three on the Seeker Missile. Minus three on a Seeker? Yeah! Excuse me! <laughs> uh, now, normally I would be getting cover here, but you do have a marker yes. light in that unit. So, yeah, it's quite good taking marker lights on observers because then you can ignore the cover. Six up and run more save! No! Uh, again, D6 plus one here. Ooh! 
Okay, I'm that's three. not so bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. You you've hit your way me. to gain this. Um, the plasma, then, I will be hitting on fives here, but yes. it's just where it might as well shoot them. Hey, yep. It's only one. You missed Oh, one. yes, of course, because it's twin link. It's twin. Not um, twin. It's worth, but you um, missed anyway. Yeah, it missed anyway. It's worth noting out on quite a lot of the twin link stuff now. It's actually one shot, but rerunning wounds. So that's quite nice. Um, I'll take that. I'm whittling away. Shadow Sun is unfortunately out of range with most of her guns, so she is now going to take the Observer role. So yeah. this is quite cool, you can kind of use units that are slightly out of range to then just help your other units. It's nice, nice synergy there. So she's going to observe for the Riptide, and the Riptide is going to shoot into the Boom Daka Snaz Wagon! Um, which is very nice, because he's riveted, so he needs all the help he can get. It's rude. It is very rude. I'm a very rude man. Um, so it will be fours, because I was hitting on fives because you riveted me earlier. The Heavy Burst Cannon. Um, I can be rolling the ones. Oh my! Blooming, 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 blooming. Oh, playing with the towel. I haven't done this in a while. Uh, right, two <laughs> wounds. <laughs> you you got I... more than one four. There was like fives and six. Oh no, it was. I, I thought I was hitting on fives. No, 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 no. So that's my mistake. Okay. Well, it's just the one wound though. All right. Um, but that's sort of what I was expecting. I do not save it. Um, it is two damage, which is very nice for me because I'm chipping away. And um, then the plasma. It's a hit. It does hit, which is splendid. The plasma will wound you one or three. It does indeed. It's minus three and damage three. I have a six up invulnerable save. I'll have oh, that's nice. No, I don't. It's three damage. <laughs> so I've taken five damage? Um, yes. Oh, no. I've only got four remaining. The ghost kill now is being helped by the fire warriors behind it, um, who can just about see the Squid Cog boys. You can see my armour panel. So I'm hoping I might maybe kill one. <laughs> Need to, need to soften them up. I'm scared of them. Um, so the ghost kill will shoot its psychic iron ricker at them, which is very nice. I am, of course, overcharging. Of course. Because that's my commitment to you over 10th edition. I'm going to try and overcharge. I, I don't think that's a 10th edition exclusive thing. <laughs> no, that's just my commitment to you in life. I will overcharge. So threes. Um, not bad, especially the reroll from Shadow Sun. Ah. Ooh. Um, to wound you here will be fours, if I'm not mistaken, because you're Strength. minus one to wound. Strength eight. On yes, this so four to wound me. Um, that's not half bad, you know, that is three wounds. These are at minus two because of the overcharging. Okay, uh, but you don't have a marker drone in the... Fire Warriors, no. Okay, no, so you will get cover. I will get cover. So minus two, you say? Minus two on the Iron Raker, yes. Uh, so effectively minus one, so fives. Yes. Five up saves. Oh, come on now. These are three damage a pop oh, on gosh. the Raker okay. overcharge. Uh, I'm going to have to do these three at a time then. Very well. The first one, he tanks them oh, all. Oh, what a hero. The, <laughs> the second one, he... Tanks, okay, so okay, a bit. you might kill one. You kill one, oh, just. Look, you I- kill one just. It's what I wanted. Free. Yeah, it's pretty spicy that the ghost kills the one to watch, man. Now for the devil fish. Um, we will start with some, I'm um, not, there's no observer units to help this guy along. He's just gonna be firing from the hip, so he'll be hitting on fours. And um, we'll start with the accelerator burst cannon. Everything's gonna go into the battle wagon, just to basically see if I get lucky more than anything. The accelerator burst cannon has hit you once. The accelerator burst cannon. Yeah. No wounds. Um, the twin carbines from the docked gun drones. Um, one hit. Um, do I wound you? I can reroll because it's twin linked. Nah. No, no, so no. I wounds. won't die to the seeker. That's the main thing. <laughs> can I give it a go though? Here you it is a hit. It is a hit. <laughs> oh, oh, seeker that's missiles. Sad. It's always the way. It's always the way. Well, that's the end of my turn. Not quite the blistering firepower I was hoping for. Um, but hey, um, we did all right. Um, we certainly whittled the bat wagon down and I have done some wounds across. I have sort of softened up the squiggle boys, but it is what it is. They are super resilient, um, which is nice to see. Um, I do have obviously my crisis suits come in later, so they'll be able to help me out a bit there. Um, but yes, that is my turn. It is back over to you, good sir. Okay. This is battle round two. Um, to note, I have got, in my next turn, I'll have a fresh chalk. I did discard extend battle lines. Don't really want to be doing that. You did. I did get my points for um, investigating those signals. You did. I, I investigated my supply line and got a CP. It's a good supply line, that. Much better than my supply nice. line. <laughs> There's just a bubble on there just going... Um, I drew behind enemy lines. It's possible, kind of tricky, but possible. Um, and I, I did pick up 10 points on the primary because I'm holding two objectives in Newman's Yes, loot. indeed. Very nice. I'm not calling a war just yet. Ooh. That's controversial. <laughs> it, it could be controversial. <laughs> um, controversial. But I'll give you a little bit of the reasoning. It's because there's a lot of stuff that's going to get the benefit of the war that ain't going to get the benefit of the war. Because it's a lot of background. Five up in one is very nice. But... I don't think it's worth doing just yet. Um, we'll see if that comes to bite me in my bum. <laughs> 
But hopefully not, because the orcs are now going to go and send their squigs to bite your bum. My bum! Boom, Dacker Snares Wagon! Also, was not battle shocked. I managed to roll exactly a seven. No more, no less. Exactly what I needed. Scrapped it! That's how. I, I wish they had fly just for the fun factor. They don't, but that would have been so cool. Some Like some sort of Death Rider vibe. Yeah. Dragster! Handbrake turn. Because it looks cool. Um, I was debating advancing him so that I could teleport him over here to try and stop your little strategy that you've got with your stealth suit, but um, I figured shooting is probably better. All right, boys, get some. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm not actually using here we go as a stratagem, but it's more because it's fun to say. And because I made a normal move, I will be releasing a bomb squick. Yeah! Aye! The kill rig. Yeah, he's gonna go like that because it looks cool. Yes. I advanced with this truck. I rolled a four. So we rotate round three inches. We move thirteen inches. Do I manage to clear? No, I don't clear the objective. So I'm just going to go around this side instead. Am I on the objective there? I can't see. There's a oh, building. you're fine. Don't you you're good? Great success. This booster blaster is reversing. Boop. Boop. This battle wagon is driving forward. Boop. Boop. I'd pay for that as a GPS. The squig buggy. Just going around here like this. And then we shift along ever so slightly with my mighty French move with my bubble trucker so that I can shoot at various targets. Final bit of movement, bubble trucker over here. Boop. And wound markers. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Shadow Sun, your reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> and because the stealth suits have the homing beacon ability, I can rapid ingress for free. Which is very, very nice indeed when you have a unit of crisis suits in reserve. Bubble time. <laughs> yes. I've got wobbly bubble. <laughs> it's going to go into this broadside over here with the plasma rifles. Nice. D6 shots. It's four. Four shots from the wobbly bubbles. Oh, bubbles wobbly. Uh, no, one's big, one's wobbly, one's dense. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Force to hit. That helps. Only the one. It's got its wobbling. Yeah. Uh, strength nine. It is a wound at minus two. You will be getting cover though. So uh, yep. He loves it. Okay, very good. Chunky. The second bubble chucker. I rolled the big bubble. Yes. I decided that I'll take my chances into the crisis team. The newly emerged crisis team. I got a total of four shots. I hit once and I wounded once. You are getting cover. Ah, you do what? One damage! You started whittling away! Very good. Yes. We'll now go straight over to the, um... <sighs> dragster. Shock drum drink right. I, I can never say that. <laughs> Even though he has precision on his shock rifle, he cannot see the character. You still need to be able to see them to allocate yeah. it. He's so, behind the building. Yeah. Yes, so this can't happen. So I'm going to start with the shock rifle, and I managed to get four shots on my rockets. Yes. But the shock oh, rifle... Nice. Misses. <laughs> Does it explode on myself? No. That's good. It's the same you keep doing it the wrong way around, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. The rockets. Ooh, good shooting that. Three times. What is your toughness, sir? Ah, uh, they are uh, tough as five. Toughness oh, five. Suit. I'm strength nine. So oh, that's nice. It is two wounds at minus two. You two are of not got, getting cover. I've got my shield generator, so we'll have a four up in van, which is very nice. Here, yep. It's which six foot, I explode one. You do kill a suit. It isn't with the shield drones. They are six foot. Six foot. <laughs> I've got two shield drones on each of oh those. Six foot pop. Woo. <laughs> Next up, booster blaster and a slight correction. Um, I said you weren't getting cover. You can, of course, have cover because you could have allocated it to someone that I couldn't I see. The wall. But you didn't make it either in He's sort of a bit mooter because of same same. and whatnot. Nice. That was my invan dance. So <laughs> you will get cover here from my rivet cannon yes. incident <laughs> if you allocate it to one that is... Yes. Uh, behind cover, so that's fine. Yes. Um, the burner exhaust and the grot blaster are going to go into the... Uh, oh, no. I don't oh, fish. are they? Are they? It's only a six-inch range now. 
Yes, I am. Yeah, you can, you right. can, you can clip, clip me exhaust. Burner exhaust. Oh, sorry, forgive me. Tracer grot blaster. It's a hit. You have been traced, sir. You have not been wounded. Very well. That's fine. Very well. Uh, 2d6, twin linked, torrent, ignore cover. Six shots. Nice that. Six shots. Six shots. Twin linked. Five Ooh, wounds. That's pretty no. good going. What is your toughness? I'm nine. Two wounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will get my head around that. <laughs> the AP here? None. Oh, okay. Well, yes. I take one wound. Okay. One bit of damage. Riveting Ganon. Oh, no. I hit you once. That's all I oh, need. Oh, no. <laughs> Minus one to you. The towel's worst enemy. It's literally the worst. Uh, I wound you twice. Ooh. Minus one, so free up save if you take it on one. I probably cover. wasn't damaged on these. Yes. I will take it on the guy in cover anyway. Uh, of course I fail. He does, thankfully, because the shield drones have two wounds remaining. Basically, the shield drones are actually repair drones just yeah. trying to fix the <laughs> suit. Boom, Daka snares wagon. Oh, he goodness. pops the lid off of a burner bottle and lobs a grenade at the uh, Riptide. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. Grenade stratagem. You take three mortal wounds. Oh, that's quite nice, that. <laughs> Blue neck. Yes. Uh, and then oh, all of his uh, other shots are going into the uh, fire warriors. Fire warriors. Uh, for the back. Oh, he'll fire his Grot Blaster into the um, uh, Riptide as well. Oh, the Riptide. Grot Blaster. Yes. Oh. <laughs> but you've been traced for everything else. He's covered in fire. Big Shooter is in rapid fire range into your Fire Warriors. Oh, that's very good, shooting. Big Shoot. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, no! Uh, no app here, so four ups. How many wins was that? Three? Three! Four? Three! <laughs> Uh, I saved one, but two are splashed. Okay, very nice. And now the mech special, oh, which no. has lots of DACA. Uh, 12 DACAs, to be precise. Oh, blimey. It's a lot of DACA. And sustained hits one. No. Right, well, I hit you four times as a result of that, but that's it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good right. for all chin. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, strength five minus wound damage one. Yeah, three wounds at minus one, please. Uh, yep. Kills another two. Kills another two. So he's killed four. That's not half bad. Go on the snaz wagon. Scrap jet. Yes, let's scrap jet. Into the uh, fire warriors with the big shooter, or the twin big shooter, and then the rocket cannon and the wing missile are firing into the broadside on next to them. I've got Guys. six shots total because it's all the same stuff. Um, you will be getting cover here from all the various stuff that's going on. Big shooter. Big shooter. Twin linked. It's one wound! Free up saving. Into the fire water. Oh, is this into the broadside? No, this is into the uh, fire warriors. Oh, nice. But you are getting cover. Splendid! Okay. Well done, fire Six warriors. Shots with the wing missile and the rocket cannon. <laughs> I miss you all the time. Splendid! That was a terrible roll. <laughs> the Squigog boys. Squigog boys. The biggest target he must go down. It's what um, we're born to do. It, yes, quite literally. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my saddle get weapons and the slugger have done a total of one wound so far. Yes. No way. He loves it. it! And now my stickers. <laughs> right. Here we go. I hit you once. Splendid. I wound you on fours because it's anti-vehicle. Anti-vehicle four. Yes. Minus one. Minus one. Hey, yep. It's no. two damage. Of course he doesn't save. Come on, Rippy T. Keep your act together. You embarrass him in front of the orcs. We've come to their town. Stairs. Kill rig. Every lobber fired a mighty one shot into the stealth team and did nothing. <laughs> Uh, the sticker cannon is going into uh, the sticker cannon is going into the riptide yes. and the word tower with its mighty d3 which i rolled a free yeah. shot into the broadside at the <sighs> back but the sticker cannon the sticker cannon oh he misses yeah oh, fair enough it's a shame <laughs> <laughs> The Whir Tower now now the Whir Tower's torrent Ooh, that's pretty naughty uh strength 12. toughness uh six two blimey <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, it's minus three, but you are getting cover. So, four up saves. Four up saves. Um, so just yep. oh. oh, it's a good start. Okay. Uh, one has gone through. D6 damage. Oh, blimey. So I can't kill him. Oh, Ooh. do a, a, a potent blow. <laughs> now, do I, blow part, do I blow part of my own brain off? Because it is hazardous. I, I have no choice on the matter. No. No, he's, he's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> The battle wagon. Uh, kill cannon into the devilfish, but the lobber, uh, aka the rocks from space, and the big shooters into the two wound broadside. The elbow dropping orcs getting fired out of the cannon. Because I might get lucky. You might get very lucky. I did get five shots with the old lobber. Uh. Well, I've hit you one, two, three, four times. The dream oh, is alive. No. It is fives and sixes to wound you. I wound you twice. The oh, dream is alive no. on the double one, James. What is the minus? None. Oh, 
Oh, oh why? He's got a wound left. The cheeky devil. Okay, so d6 plus three onto the devilfish. Uh, it is six shots. Six shots. Let's try and soften him up a little bit. Yes, indeed. Shame. He can run him over. So soften him up. Uh, I hit him three times. Oh, very Point nice. blank range. Ka-dink. I wound you no time. Very well. <laughs> right. Mm. Desperate times. Desperate minutes. <laughs> the squig launches. I fired the uh, the sawn-off shotgun into the devilfish. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Squig launches into the one wound broadside. Mm. I'll be hitting on sixes, but I do oh. have a lot of daca. Mm. How much daca do I have? Nine dackers. Mm. <laughs> Sixes. Sixes to hit. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> he only gets plus one against infantry, and he is not infantry. <sighs> he is a walker. <sighs> that is my shooting phase done. Did 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 did. I need to lay down. <laughs> I'm now going to charge you. Yeah, perfectly. Charge time. Yes. Dragster. Devilfish. Let's, yep. Let's get up the board. I need a ten. Oh. Oh, so, so close. close. <laughs> right. The battle wagon can't really fail, but for posterity. Meh, meh. See that CP? Tank shock. Here it comes. Now, might not look like it, but I do have a wrecking ball attached because it's free. <laughs> so like a panel opens up. I like to think of it as not actually like a... Um, it's, a it's one of the knobs inside just hanging on the side. Yeah, yeah the, the war boss just Whoa. hangs out. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, just power closes the way through. 10d6 because it's strength 10. And because my strength is higher than your toughness of nine, yes. I roll an additional dos. Which is very nice. So that's 12d6. For each five, you take a mortal wound. No, you to a maximum of six. You take one, two, three mortal wounds. That's not bad. I'll take it for a I do thing. like tank shock. It's good. It's little fun. That's, that's nice, that. Okay, that's that side done. Let's move over here. The Squig Boys yes. into the Riptide. Yes. Very much so, yes. We will begin with the Squig Hog Boys, but first we must call upon the Spirit of Gork <laughs> from the Kill Rig. So um, I'm going to roll a d6 and I'll tell you what happens depending on the roll. They get plus one strength, which that's is neither nice. here nor there. I was looking for a six because that would have given me lethal. lethal. Yes. Um, so that's fine. Nothing else to do at the start of the fight phase. I'll gather my dice and we'll be back for some stabs. Uh. Right, squig or boys. Yeah. Um, so I've not consolidated because otherwise I'll break coherency, but everyone's in base to base, so someone in base to base, so therefore I get to well, attack. Time. I can do all of my attacks in my two separate pools because they're all the same stat lines. Because of anti vehicle four, I'm winning on four. Keeps it all nice and clean. I'm hitting on twos because of the hog boss, otherwise known as Hognob. <laughs> okay. I am using stim injectors because um, when we rip tide, I would like to try and keep alive as much as possible. Which is appropriate because I'm using unbridled carnage, so I get critical hits on fire. Yay! Useful when you're getting sustained hits. Yeah, very nice. So my stickers and big chopper. Ooh. Two's to hit because of the boss knot. Right. Well, that's okay. That's one for hell. So that is two misses, but <laughs> only the only the only oh, the God. only the, the four extra hits. That's so not too bad. I've got a net gain of one. Yeah, that's okay. Forced to wound you. I'll take it. Because even with like lance and stuff. Yeah, because you're anti, just anti, anti monster and vehicle. Anti-monster. Which makes sense. They do like to hunch the old big monsters. Oh, that's so Ooh, bad. that's a rough oh, roll, dude. Oh, that's a rubbish roll. That's Ooh. only five wounds. Ooh. Okay, it's not over yet. Uh, five <laughs> wounds at minus one damage. Two, though. Hey, yep. Oh, he's okay. up here well. Two go through. I do have the six up feeling of pain, yeah. so that is four damage. I need to see if I can shrug. I shrug once, I do take three damage. Hey. Okay. Oh, dear. All right, but now I have all of my saddle gits, squig hogs, <laughs> smasher jaws. Go on, the lads, they'll do it now. This is the thing. Threes and fives. Ooh, that boss, I say that it's done. Okay. Yeah. Do they benefit from the unbridled? Oh, that's very nice. Because it's just the same hit. So one, two, sense. three, four, five. So it's a full house. All loose. We need fives again. Yes. Not bad. One, two, three, four. The dream is alive. Minus one damage two. The dream is alive. He's got five wounds remaining, six wounds six remaining. Six wounds remaining. The dream is alive. Oh, the dream's dead. The dream is oh, dead. No. So just two damage a pop, so that'll damage be pop. the trucks on stim injectors. Oh! oh. Good. Uh, that came up pretty so close there. So he takes five damage total, but he's alive. Ah, oh, bum. Right. <laughs> that was sad, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I got I away mean, to be fair, off lightly there. <laughs> like, I still wouldn't have killed him even without the film of pain. He would have had a wound remaining. Yeah, very true. It's fine because he's going to fail battle shot, fall back and die. He'll fall back and blow his leg off. <laughs> battle wagon. Right, we're going to start off with some tracer stuff. The grabbing claw. He hits once. You, he's been grabbed. He's not grabbed yet. Okay. The wrecking ball. He hits. He wounds. There's no app here. <laughs> yeah. There's no app. No app. Yep. I do save. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, six attacks with my death roller. Hitting on freeze. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, I do get sister. Oh, I got two. I got an. I rolled a six to hit with my wrecking ball, didn't I? Yes, you did. Sustained yes. hits. The wrecking ball does wound. Okay, I would say no, there is. At least I've done it properly. Right, we've covered it. Yes. The sustained hit for the death roller. Yes. Toughness nine. Y uh, yes. Forced to wound you. Oh man. Two wounds at minus one. Uh, yep. I've done two damage. <laughs> it's a thorn in his, your side, I mean, no. Devilfish. The game is less killy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Riptide. Um, I have done the Devilfish fighting back into the... Bonk. There's, nothing's happening. They're just doing this. <laughs> Spam, man. Um, the Riptide, though, will try and um, just kick a... Um, Boom. Uh, a squiggle boy in the face. Six attacks now. Hit on fives. So he has hit you once. See, I won't die. You won't die, but you, you might be wounded. You might. Seven. Ooh. Damned. No AP. Just... Feel no pain? <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, maybe it's underneath the foot trying to hold it up, like, don't sure. crush me! Uh, okay, well that is the end of the turn. <laughs> um, uh, a bag of mixedness. <laughs> um, I did, my shooting actually went all right. Yeah, my combat did we, not. We, yeah, weirdly for orcs, the shooting was like, oh wow, and then the combat was like, oh, um, oh, uh, I've not scored behind enemy lines because they are not wholly within your um, deployment zone. Right. Uh, no. And you need two units to do it. Yes, indeed. Um, the... Yeah, because the... Oh, am I holding with them? Oh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, because I'll, you do get what. it for one, but it's only worth two points. But 30 inches... I don't think so. Unfortunately, you are just out, good no. sir. Because yeah, I, I couldn't go any further because of the battlefield. You're very near, yeah, because if that wasn't in the way, you would have got it very easily. Um, I did get two points for killing a vehicle. You did indeed. Annoyingly, I didn't get more points for killing more vehicles. <laughs> yeah, um, these two, these two guys. Uh, so behind enemy lines is still in play. Yes. Um, over to you, sir. Thank you. Command phase for the Tau. Um, I did get my supply lines to go off, which is very handy. So it doesn't even have five CP. Um, a lot of CP. I immediately then had to spend two because um, the cards hate me in this edition as well. <laughs> um, because I drew a tempting target, which would be one of the two under all of your stuff. It's that one next to the truck filled with mega knobs. And then I'd also draw... And Pumba. And Pumba. Um, I did also draw Cleanse, which is about as useful as... It's, because it's... they're next to the truck filled with mega knobs and Pumba. So excellent. Excellent for me. So I spent two CP to get rid of Cleanse, and I did get Bring It Down, which is... Much better. Actually much better for me. So yay! Um, that is kind of it, really. Um, I do have quite a lot of work to do, and lots of very scary things that are trying to eat me. So let's get to killing them, eh? Thankfully, only my wounded broadside was battle shock, so my riptide can just get out of dodge. Yeah. The ghost kill then shuffles up. Obviously, he is now very much visible, but hopefully he'll be able to do with some of these squid boys. These fire warriors are moving up, um, just so they can assist in some spotting. This devilfish is just falling back out of the way of the battle wagon, but also to continue to blockade. Given the cold star, a 12 inch move for the crisis suits. So they move forward to deal with what might appear out of this battle wagon. Should I get lucky and make it explode? Not explode, hopefully, but at least open it up. These stealth suits are then moving to form a line behind the crisis suits so that if I do use Dragon Fade, they will be a good screen. These fire warriors are also moving forward to create a barrier in between this hill and this building. The Firesight Marksman then shuffles this way, so he can potentially do some sniping. <sighs> shooting phase! It's very stressful, the shooting phase is tough. It should be <laughs> joyous, but it ends up being like, this is the only thing I can do, so it needs to go well. Um, right, so this broadside here is kicking off proceedings. He's being guided by the Fire Warriors next to him into the battle wagon, because it very much needs to be dead. I'm going to do a tracer bit of plasma. Okay. Re -roll Roll the one, because of Shadow Sun. Oh, 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 Shazera. Now. Nah. No, it doesn't hit. Um, oh, no. No, it does. Yes, it does. He's BS4 um, base, yes. Yeah, because he's not riveted or anything like that. Yeah. Um, to wound you... Not no. to wound, though, unfortunately for me. Right. This is a big one. Whoo! The railgun! hi Hits you twice! Okay. Force to wound oh. me. hi the old toughness 12, the old dead art there. Top uh. tip. Top tip from Tabletop Tactics. Uh. Take our case on your battle wagon. <laughs> We go again! Um, the Fireside Marksman will then also guide this broadside um, mm -hmm. just to see if I can bring it down because I really do need to bring it down for both bring it down points and also to open it up so the things inside can get shot by Crisis mm -hmm. 6. That's the plan here. We'll start with some Tracer Missile Pods. Okay. Um, you do one have, you, some. you do have two of them because you've got two drones. Do you not? I do indeed! So you got one hit so far. 
Um, one, hit. one hit so far. Um, to wound you. It is, it is a wound. Uh, now the sniper does have a marker light, right? Yes, he does. So he's cover. It's minus two on this. So five up six. Okay. That's two damage. All right, I've got six wounds remaining. Hey, there. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> the rail gun. No. Yeah. Good thing you can reroll once. Hit. Okay. Okay, good. Hit twice. If I can get that again. <laughs> One wound. One wound. <laughs> a six up invulnerable save. Boom, <laughs> Shackle. Oh, bum. Oh, no. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, D6 right. plus one. Yep. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Damn. That's very nice. I don't want to alarm you. Oh, no. <laughs> the pain train continues. Okay, here we go. Come on now. <laughs> Walk. Walk. If you like fireworks and explosions, <laughs> you're going to give me a six. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't want to alarm anyone, but that means I'm going to spend a CP on Kareem to immediately normal move uh, before exploding. Uh, Great success. Uh, I did some measuring, and I yeah. can't actually fit round to get to the stealth team, so I won't Kareem because I'm hitting everything anyway. Because this is a six inch explosion. At least it exploded. Yeah, no, this is very true. And it means that I can just Kareem later. Yeah, we've had a very ex explodey low. Start yeah, we have. We want explodey heart. So six inch range, D6 explosion. Very good. Yeah. Hot oh, damn. Right. Where on my custom booster blaster to kick things off. Perfection. <laughs> okay. Fine. Ooh. He's got four wounds remaining. Ooh. On your devil fish. Yep. Four. I'll take that. Right. <laughs> okay. On your crisis team. <laughs> it does kill it one. It kills one. Yeah, nice. Anymore. All right, fine. It's That's not, it, going... wasn't, it wasn't as spectacular as I was hoping. It but it's still though. very fun. Okay. okay, so there's 11 models inside. I'll just roll for them now because I should be able to get them all out. So for the purposes of death. Yes. Ugh, I st even though, even though it's not four dead, it's still two dead knobs. <laughs> I'm glad to see that the streak hasn't changed. I have disembarked over here because I can't hide from you. Uh, because you're because of the size of my base and whatnot, you'll be able to see regardless. And because you've got marker stuff over there, you'll be getting ignore cover. So hiding behind a wall will do nothing. So I may as well go all in, in for a penny, in for a tooth. Yes. Speaking of in for a penny, in for a tooth, um, my crisis suits are putting all their firepower into your knobs. That seems um, nice. Losing one the explosion is always a little bit spicy because I am obviously losing quite a bit of firepower, but it will be guiding with the stealth suits. So they'll be getting real ones to um, wound, which is very nice. Yep. And ignoring cover because of the marker light in the stealth. And team and because they're guided and oh, yes. you are the exemplar of the, the carry on. Uh, uh, exemplar of the carry on it That's activates... sustained hits too yeah it activates a turn early which is a bit of a pretty from... spicy that mm. um so yeah we'll start with the start with how we mean to go we'll start with the plasma mm. right yep okay no sixes, no this, sixes. Is good. this is good this is good and because i was riveted as well we'll only be hitting your force praise be to oh, the rivet force to wound me to wound you because you might as well have to wound which is very nice indeed the boss's legs. i have got one to reroll um it doesn't make a difference that is two, two wounds died. there two, two, two are died. dead okay i have no died. feel no pain i have no invite here ever. nothing right the missile pods yep still no sixes <laughs> oh i'm having a bit of a whiff here yeah you good. are you are a bit horrid this yep um I, oh, only another one, one dead. wound, another one dead. Okay, okay so cool. three dead so far. We'll move on to the commander, yeah. who's also shooting at them because I need to kill as many you as possible. You do need to kill them. The real problem. The missile pods for the commander. Um, no rerolls available. I do get two extra hits though. So it is a full, house, a full house, which is quite nice. To wound you. Um, he wounds you twice. Makes a big difference that minus one to wound. I mean, um, have killed no five so Another far. two dead. The high output burst cannon. I can never say that properly. High output but burst cannon. Ah, uh, burst cannon. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it pretty good. It was a high um, output burst so then, cannon. So, <laughs> so two more there, yeah. and then two more there. Yeah. Um, two more there. <laughs> I'm glad this is no AP and only damage one. However, this is, this is strength five. Yes. So we'll actually be wounding you on fives. Fives, yes. So it's a good thing you've got that, yeah. Hits. By the high output, obviously, with carry on, can be quite nasty. Mm. Uh, yep. Um, pretty Ooh, reasonable. I can roll the ones, I believe, because of the stealth Yes, suits. you are guided. Okay, um, okay that, that, it's sort five. of come out in the wash, really. Um, but yeah, that's five, no AP here. Okay, so just five up saves here. Yep. So I've lost five so far. I've only got three remaining, so yep. the unit will live. <laughs> Uh, you kill another two. I got one knob and a war boss left. Not bad. That's all I need. Pretty successful that. 
No, I did all right. Well, I did all right. The, 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 we, I, yeah, the, weird, the weird thing is that was pretty successful with a horrible whiff. Yeah, bear in mind that was a minus one to hit on the crisis suits, and I didn't roll any sixes for the crisis suit weapons themselves. Yeah, it's quite that example of the carry on was pretty naughty. Yeah, um, that seems also a bit naughty. Um, it's spending two CP to now move twelve because there's a cold star in the unit, so they are just going wee behind their helpful line of friends. They're like, you, you guys can go deal with the war boss now. We've done our bit. We failed to completely kill the knobs, and now you're going to die. <laughs> there you go, for the greater good. Yes, they are. Right. The stealth suits now will try and try and finish off the low. One knob left. One knob left. One knob left. Fair enough. Um, the fusion blaster is out of range, I believe. Uh, 12. 12. I presume so. I presume I it is, so. but we're doing it live. He's in range. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the first cannons. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, oh the, again, the burst cannons are doing quite well for the old, the old Jim <laughs> Jam here. There's no sustained here. That's no. in the next battle round. Which Thank goodness. Very nice for me. Um, to wound you. Minus one to wound, so it'd be um, Two wounds. All right. Two wounds. No. And you ideally need to save at least one of these so that the knob can be held up in front of the fusion. Bum! Okay, <laughs> fusion blaster. The fusion. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Good. It does miss. It does miss. <laughs> Please know it misses. Ghost kill time now! Mm. Um, he, uh, being guided by the stealth suits to get my lovely Riddle ones to wound, which is very nice. Um, everything is going into the Squickle Boys because I need to start sorting them out, really. Well, um, we'll do my tracer. nails, I'll have you know. Makes, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I will start my twin linked um, tracer burst cannons. Tracer burst cannon. Yep! Yeah. Hitting on a threes. Yes. Very good shooting. Sixes. Re rolling because they're twin linked. And the four. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay, two wounds. That's not bad. Hup. I saved them both because it's AP zero. Yes, it is indeed. Remember, one is on one wound. I've just not mocked him up. Mocked him up? Mocked him up! I've not mocked him up. <laughs> mocked him up. Right. Cycle guy on Raker. Right. Hey! Oh, I'm so going. glad you don't have sustained hits on him at the moment. That's later. <laughs> if he's still alive. Four. Uh, okay. Can you roll that one? Okay, right. three wounds. That's not bad. That's minus. Not bad. It's minus two. Six up saves. Okay, <gasps> it's happening again. No! <laughs> right, the one on one wound is dead. Oh, okay. So this then the dead. next one is alive, so you will have maybe. Yes, you've killed two. Okay, I'll All take right. that. That's not bad. It's not bad. Shadows are next. Um, I still have some observer units in play, so I kind of want to wait for my reptile in case huh? he can help me out elsewhere. So Shadow Sun is going to shoot at the Squig Hog Boys. Okay. Um, so we'll start with high energy fusion blasters. Okay. Yep! She hits both times. Hits both times. We'll be forced to wound you. Because we're hard as nails. nails. Uh, okay. Wound you through. once. Um, it is minus four. Don't get to save your damage. Um, D6 plus two. Because yes, melted no. two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might make <laughs> six shrugs. Well, well done, Shadow. I suppose I should try. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I don't. The one oh, is exploded. One is exploded. Um, the light missile pod. Um, hits you both times. It will be um, five to wound you. Five to wound because of Arla's nails. Uh, doesn't wound you, okay. which is fair enough. But she's done a job, she's killed another one. The stealth suits now, um, I've done the burst cans off camera, no wounds, because again, hard as nails coming into effect there. It's time for the high fusion, no, we're not high, just regular fusion. It's high fusion. Damn. Is it, it hit? Does it wound? It, it does. does wound. Your damn arch. Uh, oh yes, of course. Five. Yes. Uh, you are in melt range. I am in melt range. Um, it is melt two, yes. Yeah. You do just kill him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Just Barney left alive. Okay. Okie dokie then. The Fire Warriors are guiding the Riptide to shoot at Barney the Dinosaur. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I will only be hitting your force because um, I'm very wounded. Um, however, I am Nova charging. So any sixes to wound will be devastating wounds. The Heavy Burst Cannon. Okay. Hey -ya! You hit me on fours. Because <laughs> are... Okay. I'm outside of Shadows on Range. There yes, are no rerolls there. So you got how many hits? Not very many, three. Okay, a triple six will kill me. Because <laughs> I've only got five wounds. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, he's done a whipper. Oh, an absolute he's whipper. Done no um, wounds no at all, because I wouldn't need to wound you on six. Yeah, all his nails are still in effect. The two plasma. It was only one plasma, and you missed both times anyway. Great success. <laughs> the humble fire warriors will take shots at the um, the war boss. Yes, he doesn't have the minus one to wound anymore yeah. because all of the bosses lads um, are dead. All but one in rapid fire, so it's this many shots. 13 to be precise. Hitting on fours? Oh, well, that's not as fun. Um, okay. It's not too bad, really. Fours to wound me, I'm only tough um, as five. The next turn, that'll be very nice with the old sustained. Sustained. Stop um, it. Hey, up. 
Four wounds. Four wounds! No AP here. I will live. I have a four up save. I take oh, one point of damage. Oh, he got me in the knee. I'm All coming right. for you. Firefight Marksman. Let's see if I can mm. finish this war boss. Mm. You hit me twice. Do you hit you twice? So hit I, you twice. I, will, I will live. Force to win. Okay. Two wounds. Minus one and damage two. Five of invulnerable saves. Oh, come on now. Oh, it's four that? damage. Got a wound left. <laughs> Rubbish. But he is alive. Yeah, but that's <laughs> still a bit. Pants. Um, I also shot these three fire warriors, unfortunately. Yeah. Didn't do any wounds. That is your shooting done, though, isn't it? It is indeed. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> See you in my turn. I'm not doing any charges. Look, that could have been. That could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. It was a little bit. A lot worse. Um, yeah, that this broadside not nailing the bat wagon was in a bit of a problem because then he couldn't be used on other stuff. Mm. But that's where we are now. Um, so um, yeah, I did get five points to break down for dealing it? with the bat wagon. I have dealt with the knobs, which are in point, and I've dealt with the squid called boys. Yes, you did. So I've dealt with my immediate concerns. I haven't been able to deal with some of the sort of more tertiary concerns I wanted to start whittling away on. But hey, we'll just hopefully there'll be turns for me to deal with that in future. It is over to you, good sir. So it is. Michael Martin phase. Yes, indeed. Picked up 10 points for the primary. Very I've nice. I've drawn capture enemy outpost, which means Barney has a plan and a Daniel mission. Daniel Barney! <laughs> uh, battle shock wise, I passed over here with my war boss. I passed over here with my um, booster blaster. I did fail with my boom decker snazwag, which is a shame because he was going to lob the burn grenades. Um, oh, I should also mention I am discarding tempting targets. So I get of course. You don't get a CP though because you did generate oh, it from your supply lines. Yeah, that's very well. Um, but just everyone's aware. There is nothing else to do in my command phase apart from <laughs> first war of tenth. That's nice. That felt good. Booster blaster. Mm. Going to here, moving normally so I can charge in the middle of the debris so it is a legal maneuver. But now lots and lots of dust trail being kicked up for minus one to hit. Also, you'll notice that I've got a little marker on his base. It's handy dandy markers, uh, soon to be available at tabletoptactics.tv forward slash shop to indicate that he is battle shot so I don't forget and try and cheat and use grenades even though I want to. <laughs> Brum, the dragster. Brum, says the scrapjet. Meganobs disembarked. Uh, it's worth pointing out that uh, I would have used Here We Go on them, but that is specifically done at the start of the movement phase, and you can't use stratagems on units inside. Transports are not on said battlefield, which is a shame because a high advance would be very, very nice here, but it doesn't matter. Gork and or Mork, if you love me, give me a six. I mean, 50 fit, maybe Gork said, yeah, all right, and Mork said, no, not today. All right, I'll move them up. The truck is going to just move normally over to here so that he can enact the ritual. I love you, you love me. Gawker Mork will ruin your day with a, a smash the towel and eat the fish. <laughs> I choose to make a normal move with the war boss. I choose Overwatch. I choose life. <laughs> I choose hopefully your death. Um, these fire eyes are going to do it. I've opted to go for them because they've got just. Lots, lots of shots, and also because bar round three, Carrion does kick in now. Indeed. So six, there'll be sustained one. It's only if I'm guided, I get sustained two. Okay. 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 It's four hits. It is four hits. Quite I nice. am getting That's covered sustained. here at sustained. least. Sustained. Yeah. Because right. not all of them can see me. No, not completely. Well, not all of them can see me fully. Hey, Forced to wound me. Okay. It's two wounds. Two free up saves. Go oh, the. Oh, fracking. Oh, he's alive! He's alive! He's alive! <laughs> uh, his name isn't Gordon. I mean, I shouldn't be excited. Oh no, he's alive! Uh, so I'm going to move normally. I'm moving six inches to here. Marvellous. Mech gun! Moving. Bringing the tokens of wounds. Mech gun moving to here, but still within range of the objective because I like the extra CP. Pleases me greatly. Custom Booster Blaster, sorry, I forgot what it was called for a minute there. He's moving up normally to there so we can get in rapid fire range of those crises. Kill rig! Moving backwards. Yes. Yeah. Final bit of movement, Squig Bubby. Squig Bubby? Squig Buggy. Because that's still allowed. I don't like it, but it is allowed. Yeah, what a nice Bubby. Kill Rig has kicked things off in the shooting phase. We all of the lads have lent out, fired their sluggers um, into this devilfish, bling, 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 yep. but traced it for a sticker cannon. <laughs> the lob has gone poop into the uh, fire warriors there. Killed one. Killed one. Yep. Go me. 
the sticker cannon into the devilfish, but the word tower into this broadside that Barney is facing down. Oh, we'll no! Start with the sticker cannon. Here sticker. we go. Oh, it misses. Oh, oh that's just that's sad. Right. The word tower. D3 <laughs> shot. Just the one. Okay. Might be all I need. It's fine. <laughs> I'm ruining on twos. <laughs> The Custom Booster Blaster has done his burners and uh, Grot Blaster into the Devilfish to no avail. The River Cannon is going into the Crisis Team once again, and they am at half range, so Rapid Fire free. Curse your rivets! In. I've hit you twice, that's all oh, I need for no. the rivet. <laughs> Riveting Dacker. Uh, it is strength 8 minus 1 damage door, so I wound you. No time. But it's done but you his are job. <laughs> he's, like, he's paid for his, he's yeah, worth his weight in gold. He's done so much work for not actually yeah. hurting anything. Um, we can go straight on to the dragster whilst oh. down here, because he's going to fire everything into the yes. um, crisis team. See if you can snap my commander. Rockets. So two shots because it's blast. I hit you once. Oh. <laughs> the custom oh. shock rifle hits. I presume this is going into my commander. Into the, I can't kill the commander. This is true. So weirdly, I don't know if I want to. I because you might actually just be on a new KM suit. Yeah, I mean, because they're, they're six wounds each. He's eight wounds because of his two shield drones. Two shield drones. Shield drones. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to allocate it to him. Well, Fair I rolled the wound first, to be fair. That's true. And then you allocate. Okay, so it's not a devastating wound. It's D6 plus one. I'm going to put it on a suit. On a suit? Uh, yep. It'll be a four up in there. It does go through. All right, I'm looking for a five or a six. Oh, free damage. All right, that's okay. Bubble chuck a numero uno. Yep. Uh, I got wobbly bubble, and I'm gonna fire into the devil fish. <laughs> I can't see it. Wobbly bubble, so far. <laughs> going for the cover. I did get five shots. Fours and fours. Oh, the dream is dead. Oh, it's also worth pointing out that I did take three mortal wounds from my uh, shock rifle. Yes. Uh, okay. What does Bubble Chucker number one get? Number one, he's numero whatever. It's the big, big bubble. Ooh, so a let dense me bubble. Ponder a target. Dense bubble Ugh. into the broadside that Barney's facing down. D3 shots. It's the big three. three. Force a hit. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty, <laughs> okay, chef. No, one, two, three. <laughs> Boom, Dakish Snares wagon. Boom, Dakish. Uh, everything is going into those three fire warriors next to Barney because they are all in range of the objective. I must kill them for the purposes of my plan. I've yes. done one wound so far with a big shooter. Yeah, indeed. You do get cover. Doesn't matter. Kills them. Next special. Here we go. Oh, six is a nice because they're sustained hits. That's one. very nice. Uh, so, in the comments, what do you think is the fun, most fun wagon to say its name? They're all quite enjoyable. <laughs> What's behind door number two? <laughs> is it a Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon? <laughs> what about a Mega Track Scrap Jet? Um, I, well, the one Shock Jump Dragster. Shock I Jump? Yeah, no, that's I That's really hard to one. say. A um, Rocket Truck Squig Buggy. They're all quite fantastic. Strength five minus one. Ooh, very nice. Okay, that's good. That's gone very well. There's only two that's left. Uh, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds. Ooh, blimey. Seven wounds at minus one, so four up saves. Excellent. They're very oh, good. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Uh, okay. into a paste. Very good. Ugh. Right. Yes. The Mega Track Scrap Jet <laughs> is going to fire uh, his twin big shooter into the one wound broadside, no. and then his rocket cannon and wing missiles into the healthy broadside. Curses. We'll start with the twin big shooter. Very well. I hit you once. Oh no. Need. Toughness? Six? Um, uh, yes, yeah, six. Twin linked. It's okay. fine. Right, we've got one shot with the wing missiles, two shots because of the D6 plus one on the rocket cannon, because it's all the same stats, plus D6. Okay, so we've got four shots with the missiles in total into, Respectable. The, into the broadside. Respectable. Respect the bubble. I hit you twice. You do it. Freeze to wound you. I wound you once. Minus one because of cover, effectively. Okay, yep. Okay, Ooh, it's free it damage. Ooh, blame me, that's Free nice. damage. So he's got five wounds remaining. Oh, right for a Barney, eh? Right for a Barney. The war boss. <laughs> yep. Basically, while he's running along, everything around him is exploding. He's just like, oh, twin star goes boom, boom, boom. Doom, 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 doom. Those of um, like, squigs with like little dove wings yeah, are yeah, fine yeah. past him. Yeah. <laughs> <He's like, laughs> yeah, he does the, uh, like, you know, in, in sort of oh, any like action film nowadays where yeah. he fires clicks, just throws them away. Yeah. So everything is going into the devilfish. But first, a grenade. <laughs> 66. <laughs> 
Each four is a mortal wound. He's got a wound left. Oh no! <laughs> okay. The twin sluggers. And these are two shots twin linked, which is quite nice. Ah. I hit you both times. Oh no! Six is to wound though. They are only strength four. Twin link. One wound. Oh no! No AP. Oh no! Yep. Oh, a six to save. Okay, I'm not done. Oh, okay. Combi weapon. Ooh, very nice. Fives to hit. One hit. Now, I don't want to alarm you, James. Maybe what he means. I need a six to wound. You know what happens on a six? I'm so alarmed. Devastating wounds. No. Walk and walk is pleased. Now, does he explode? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay. So close. Okay, okay. <laughs> So you got 11 guys inside? Yeah, 11 guys inside. We'll let you get yeah. them out and then roll for their deaths. It's <laughs> automatic. Yes. The rocket truck squig buggy to finish off the shooting phase as <laughs> is tradition. Now, it's also worth pointing out. I was a little bit concerned because James was talking about doing a photon grenade here. Yeah, this is a really good point. But you'll notice the Battleshock token next to them, available very soon on tabletop.tv forward slash shop. Um, because trust. they got out of a destroyed transport. So they are automatically Battleshock. No yeah. test, they just no. Yeah. So it, no in my dominate. turn, that's fine, but in this particular moment, they can't use strats or anything like that because they are battle shocked. So it's actually really happened. useful to look out for for things like that. It also means units that get out can't overwatch. Yeah. You know, so all little all things to look out stuff. for, but important. D6 plus six into the one wound battle, uh, <laughs> battle wagon? Battle side. Broad, broad, ba side. broad wagon. A broad wagon um, battle man. I can see now. So D6 plus six. Nine shots. Oh. So hitting on fives because he's not going for the tree. <laughs> ah! So it's fives and fives. So stressful. <laughs> I hit you once. Oh, it's all you need, potentially. Fives to wound you. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ooh. Smart for death. But Minus one, ignoring cover. So a free up or die situation. Ha! Oh! Well. <laughs> I threw it so far, but it was so not what I really wanted that to go a little bit more. Yeah, go off the table. Oh, my broadside's dead. Yay! Oh. Fight! I mean, it has taken three turns of shooting. It's done a lot of work, isn't it? Charge time. Yes! Dragster into the stealth suits. Yes, this is for prosperity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Booster blaster into the breaches. Maybe. I'll check you in a second. I don't think so. Most importantly, the war boss into the breaches. Oh, why, oh, mate? Maybe. I need a seven. I think he's in. I think he's in. Check. Mega track. Scrap Scrap jacks. Jacks. Into the riptide. I, I, I can't fail. Yes. So I'm wait, just... one for you. Posterity. Posterity. Yep, there we go. <laughs> That's fine. I'm getting rid of the ones, you see, because now I've got my drill my drill through. So uh, on a two plus, you take D3 more to wounds. On a six, you take three. <sighs> <laughs> Boom Dacker Snares Wagon. Boom Dacker. The ghost kill. Yes. Yes, very much um, so. And then we've got the Mega Knobs. Uh, given that I did no mortal wounds on the charge, I guess I'll go into <laughs> the this guy. Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. B Barney. Barney. Show him how it's done, Barney. Into the broadside. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Idiot. Right. Yep. Mega Track, Scrap Jet. <laughs> Unbridled carnage because he's useless <laughs> otherwise. Uh, he's not useless. But... <laughs> the Riptide's already got his foot on the bonnet. He's like, Nee. Up it! He's like, no, get right. away! Uh, I do get plus one attack from the war though. It does affect everything. That's cool. It affects everything, which That's is great. Cool. Um, and the plus one strength. So I'm uh, strength nine now. Oh, nice! I'm, I'm hitting and wounding on fours, but the Unbridled carnage for a CP to give me sustained hits on five. Sustained. Yes. Sustained. Okay. So I, 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 hit, I hit you four times. Mm. You got a Are you doing stim injectors, anything like that? I can probably say it with broadside. Force to wound you. Oh, okay. that's gone well. Minus one. So three at minus one. Uh, yep. He loves it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the dragster. Yep. Into the stealth Old team. stealth boys. Uh, I do drop three of them, but sustain kicks in. Is that stealth applies in combat or just Dude, shooting only? That does make sense because yeah. it's hard to be stealthy when you're right um, there. It is two to wound because I'm strength eight for this turn. Yes. Uh, Minus ooh. one. Two damage though. Hey, yep. So I killed two. You killed two. Right, nice. That's, that's fine. That's, that's pretty good going. Okay. The war boss then. Yes. I've got nine attacks with my power claw because nice. of the biggest and the best gives him an additional four attacks in the war. 
he's, he's the big and he's the best. But we're going to start with Barty the attack squig. Amazing. Tracer squig. Tracer squig. Now, he doesn't get the benefit of the war. Well, he, he gets the benefit, he doesn't get the extra attacks per the core rules, but he does get the strength. So he gets residual war energy. He sort of doesn't fully understand. He's sort of just like running along. Bar the Barty hits you once. He does indeed. Barty does bite you once. No app. Despite his massive teeth. Hey, you! They love it. But you've, been, you've been distracted oh, by the, the, yeah. the squeak. <laughs> Uh, I do drop three there. That's fine. No expect moves. That's sad. That is sad. Two's to wound with the old power claw. Yeah, I'll do the business. Oh, now. double one. Only four. All right. Yeah, I get minus two. You said. Only so minus you get two. Six of safe here. Yeah. It's quite nice. He snips up three of it, and three died from the explosion as well. That's not so half bad. Not half bad. It's it's not great, but it's fine. Barney, the dinosaur. Yes. We've got six attacks from our big chopper, anti-vehicle three in the war. Ooh, that's quite, nice. Quite a nice little combo with Ed, Chop uh, Ed, 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 Ed Chopper's kill whopper, but um, I you know don't have it. But I don't have it. Uh, Smash a squig jaws. Here we go. I'm doing stim injectors because I'd be foolish not to. We'll move swiftly on away from the Smash a squig okay. jaws. But you've been you've been um, um, uh, distracted by the squig jaws. Yes, I have. Here we go. Six attacks. Six sixes. Oh, Barney, you've missed five times. How? Because I rolled ones and twos. Barney! Oh, that's not war boss behaviour. He doesn't even oh, roll Barney! Barney! <laughs> Barney! <laughs> oh, Barney! Barney! Oh, dear. Well, you couldn't hit the side of a Barney. Hey! Oh. The snare's wagon, then. Come I on. Wagon. I, we've established I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a melee army. I'm a... Apparently the snazz wagon is though, because that's six He's hits. loving life. Woo! Go on, the snazzy wagon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what is your toughness, sir? Um, eight. Uh, so falls to wound because of the one. Nice that. I wound you four times at minus oh. one. Minus one. Two damage. Hey yep. So I kill a drone. Yep. Because you turn it into damage zero and kill yep. a drone. <laughs> so technically, I did kill something. You, you did. But he doesn't count models for like that. Right. right. Very exciting combat now. <laughs> okay. Um, we come to this combat over here. Yep. Oh, very exciting. Yep. I'm going to start with the fire blade because he hits on fours. Oh, do I spend the CP on Arda's nails? Oh. I mean, I'm only, I'm only strength three. Yeah, but so. I'm only toughness five. So who are you five? I'm going to have to spend because he's he's actually getting me behind enemy lines for a second unit yes. now. Yes. Right. Oh, I'm going to have to spend the CP as minus one wound. Okay. The fire blade. Hey. -ya! Just in case, with only a wound well, remaining. Oh, the fire blades hit you once. With only a wound remaining. Ah, oh, okay. okay, the fire blades doesn't wound you. Right. You then have four All attacks. Wounded. You hit twice. Okay. You're now, fine. if I hadn't spent that CP, you'd have got like three wounds. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Um, sixes, okay, yeah. so that's useful. That's good. Uh, it keeps them in combat, and it also nets me points for behind the sure. lines. Yes. Very good. Um, we'll do the rest of your attacks back off. Well, apparently I'm a shooting army now, <laughs> because that was a terrible, terrible round of melee. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got um, pretty lucky. Unlucky nothing there, happened in return. It's Tau combat, you know, so that's something. What were you expecting? End of the turn, the ritual has been enacted and a objective marker has been placed there. I couldn't quite place it the other side because it would have been more than an inch away, yeah. so I've just put it there. Um, I did get behind enemy lines for the five points, thanks to Barney yes. and the war boss. And he's still alive. The war boss with no name. Um, I'm going to keep capture enemy outpost in play because one, it will keep some pressure on or force you to move back yeah, nice to man. keep it under your control. Um, and also because if I discard it, I don't get a CP, so that seems kind of fruitless. Well, mm. certainly a lot for me to do. Um, also, taking me off this objective here uh, is quite a problem because I can't get my supply lines. No supply lines for you. Um, which I could have done with the extra CP, but we're mm. going to have to just deal with that. So I've only got the one so far. Um, Cards-wise, I've got Storm Hostile Objective and Overwhelming Force. Overwhelming Force is quite nice. Storm Hostile might be quite tricky. But doable. Um, but potentially doable. So there's some thinking to be done there. Look, I need to do a lot of damage, and I potentially can, especially now that carry-on is activated. However, you are running away with it on the primary, because I just can't really... I've got to go really close to your very stabby stuff. Uh, yes, you must. So, um, I've got quite a lot of bits, lots to do to sort of hopefully get some primary in future turns. So, wish me luck. Movement phase, we start with these breaches falling back. They thankfully passed the battle shock, which is mm. nice for them. Um, they're just getting out of the way, so other things can shoot at the war boss. These fire warriors are then just moving this way. May need to get out of the way of the crisis suits so they can move into the centre of the board. <laughs> the crisis suits move forward to engage with multiple targets. Shadow Sun shuffles back ever so slightly, basically just to get out of the dust trail range of this pesky vehicle here. 
The ghost kill then also falls back but has a battle suit support system, so we'll be able to shoot this turn. Here we go! Shooting phase for the Tau! And the fire sight marksman is going to guide for the crisis suits. And by into, fire sight marksman, you I mean, mean my stealth, stealth suits. suits. Sorry! <laughs> um, stealth suits are going to guide into the mega knobs just to give the Rura ones to wound and also because they've got mark and they can ignore cover, which is very, very nice. Mm. Right, we're going to start with the crisis suits themselves. I am in carry on, so we'll be getting my explosive sixes. <gasps> the plasma! Here you Okay, there's one in there. No Rira ones to wound, but it's not the best. The minus one it's made from a the big river difference. Is from the river really camp. massive. He is so clutch. Difference. Yeah, he's made a huge difference in this yeah. game. That been um, like four I have spent a CP on Arda's nails because, of course, I have. So we'll be forced to wound. Um, uh, only one wound. Okay, I do have a four up in when I get shooting because of my custom force. Yes. Wound. Oh, it's not. Oh, there. blimey. I mean, I got a five up in but anyway because of Dewar, but you know. Yes. Four um, is better. The missile pods. Um, oh, come on, sixes. The, the minus one from the rivet Made cannon huge is difference. so, so clutch. Yeah. It has kept me right in it, really. Hey up! Um, that is three... Oh, can I that one? Four. Four wounds at minus two, damage two. Okay. Uh, oh, there you go. You do kill one. Kill one. Because of okay. two damage. Okay. <laughs> um, right. The uh, missile pods from the commander. Try again. Okay. Fine, because he, because he, oh, rivet cannons made a big difference. Mm. Um, just the one wound with the missile pod. Arda's nails is also very good. Okay, I am still alive. Yes. Um, the high output burst cannon. Oh, I didn't power up this time. Did not power up this time. No, no one wants to hit, and the rivet cannon has made quite a bit just of difference. Just free to hit, yeah. Um, that is just the just one, one wound. Yeah. I have toughness six on the mega knobs. Okay. I'm fine. Now the time of the broadside, yeah. and he is being observed by the fire warriors. Yes. Um, yes. Well, that's well. we'll start with some tracer missile pods. Okay. From the, um, the, the, the drones. Yeah. It's like a defense flashe system. Wait, do get some. Do get some. Because uh, they are. Yeah. Oh, he's guided. Yes. Yeah, he's guided. So get him a sustained. <sighs> um, so that is. Yeah. Is. Uh, so they are BS five. You are minus one to hit because, because of heavy. They're not heavy, so he is hitting on fives, not fours. Yes, so it's just the three Because hits, of the guide. That was quite a good one. Yeah. Um, here, yep. Uh, um, that is... Uh, no, one wound. Because one wound. He is tough yes, to one wound could have to seven. Quite a chunky boy. Uh, nope, damage two. Damage two. I feel one pain. One bit of pain. I have four wounds remaining. Right. The plasma. We're, build, we're building to them. Three other ones for sh Shadow Thank Sun. Thank you, Shadow Sun. Uh, new. No, it doesn't hit, because obviously I'm in combat. Now the railgun. This will be hitting on threes. Oh dear, that's three hits from a railgun. That's quite nice. Because <laughs> of the old sustain there. The oh, he's so in trouble. Yeah, because um, that's devastating wounds, it, that it, one. It, right, let me, I'll just do my five up in vulnerable save. Okay, um, <laughs> so I'm taking three plus 3d6 yeah. damage. Well, yes. um, he's dead, but just roll it for posterity. I want to see how dead. Pretty dead. Reasonably dead, yeah. <laughs> I did have Fiona Payne. I passed seven of them. You did pretty good. But he's still dead. <laughs> he took three rail guns. <laughs> <to the base. laughs> Pow! Um, the fire warrior is now into the war boss. Yes. These are not guided, so they'll be hitting regularly. Um, uh, regularly. 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 That's not too bad, though. They're going to go get one. I get two sustains. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's regular sustains. Yes, because they are sustained, not guided. Because they're not guided. Okay. Uh, yep. Force to wound me. Not half bad. I will be fine. So that's Maybe. five. Yeah. Five four up in buns. Well, four up saves. We're going to do them one at a time. Now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Sun is now going to guide the ghost kill at the rivet cannon buggy because it's caused me enough problems <laughs> as it is today <laughs> and I'm losing my patience with it. <laughs> um, this psychic Iron Raker. Hey, um, um, oh, sustained, day. Oh, eh? He's been doing this a lot, the old... Um, um, oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. So that's because he's guided. That's, I mean, this is when oh. the carry on really powers up. I mean, you, yeah, you, I think your dice have been patient enough. Yeah, so. there we go. <laughs> Finally, um, you're tough from seven. Tough to seven. So we, I am, I am overcharging. Yeah, of course. Trace the wound. Okay, you've not overcharged yet. Okay, I'll be fine. Maybe. That's pretty good. Going. I mean, yeah, the carry on is quite potent there. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, what's trace the wound? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine? Yes. Pathetic. <laughs> Five up invulnerable saves. I'm dead. Do I explode? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh. oh, I would have careened. 
The Riptide now is going to be guided by the Firesight Marksman into this. What, what is this one? The Boom Dacker Snazwagon. That's a The Snazwagon. He's going to shoot everything at it just to see if I can destroy it. Sure. So it'll free up my fusion to then maybe deal with some more mega knobs. Um, I'll start with the Tracer Shield drones. You just normal ballistic skill here because yes. you're minus one because of half uh, uh, damaged. So the drones will be hitting on sixes here. No, fives. Oh, it's still fives. Oh, yes, of course. You're, you're being yeah. guided. I am being guided. Well, that makes Doesn't matter. Work. difference. That's fine. Um, right, the burst cannon. Mm. Come on, some sixes here would be very, very nice. Yes. Ooh, There's a couple! There you go! Oh gosh, that's a good roll! It's not bad at all, uh, given I'm... Um... Wow. No, you're hitting on fours. Oh, I am hitting on Because fours. you are minus one to hit, but plus one yes. ballistic skill. Right, let's get those And even though you're in, in combat, there. that's minus one to hit, but hits don't stack. Ballistic skill does. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. So, Ooh. okay. But you do need fives. I do need you fives. Do need fives. So I really need those explosions, I'm a really. chomp... Well... Chomp. Hey! Um... Oh. oh, that's gone pretty well! Okay. What? A number. Um, that six. is two, four, six, yes. Okay, here we go. Come on, Ghost Key! Here we go. Fire Ghost Key! Riptide! Oh, Woo! you just <laughs> get him. Just. That was a good roll! Okay, okay. <laughs> Does he go boom -ba? Does he boom? Uh, no. Oh. Straight down the middle. Shadows are next! Um, her fusion is in range, so I'm going to try and deal with these pesky mega knobs. Hey, yep! Oh. She can reroll for herself? She can reroll for herself. Very nice, can't she? Oh, well, <laughs> classic me! That's fine. Um, to wound you. It does Either wound. Or a bit vulnerable save with custom force field. Bum. Um, the damage here. Hey yo! No. Yeah, one's Let's kill one. <laughs> nice. We got some pittery pattery shootery shootery. Um, the stealth suits. Unfortunately, my fusion isn't in range. Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, that just did burst cannons. You are fine. And then the fire site marksman can't see the character, which is a shame. But did try to see if it can finish off any uh, mega knobs. Unfortunately, not. No. Uh, minus one to wound is really new to the potency. Yeah. Yeah. Um, combat. Indeed, we're going to kick off with the Megatrack Scrapjet. Uh, vengeance for his uh, lackluster turn last <laughs> yeah, time. Like, um, I'm still in the war, so I do have five attacks. Uh, no sustained, but four hits. Sustained. I wound you once because I'm strength nine. nine. Minus one damage to two. Uh, yep. He's Marvelous. fine, he loves it. Uh, I mean, your stealth suit is technically going to be able to fight before my dragster, if you want. He hits twice. Fear him! He wounds once. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh, right, fine. I'm gonna cut him down now. No! I only hit you twice. Very well! Do I wound you twice? No! I wound you once. Minus one, damage two. Fail the save, please. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, That's good. No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we did some combats. I, I, I did! I stepped on you! I did two wounds to your yeah. buggy! Just yep. stomped on him. Done more damage um, to me in combat than I've done to you <laughs> with a giant <laughs> drill orc driven contraption. Go of um, Look, the, the grocer suit's not really killing many of the mega knobs is a big problem. Uh, yeah, can, that's you, a big problem. You can bring them on back. Uh, yeah, I believe it's called uh, Fix That Armor Up. Fix the armor. So, I mean, in my command phase, uh, this mega knob's going to be coming back. Gonna come I'm so, not in the war anymore, so I'm a bit slow with those. You are a bit they're, slow. They're not really going to be able to get to much. I have cards in my hand. And I do have a kill rig. Because... <laughs> Why is that, James? I said it would happen eventually. <laughs> it's time for some gambiting! Mm. I mean, ironically, I don't really, because of the way this mission is, I'm not even sure if I can catch it. We'll do a gambit, but let's see what they are anyway. Um, so I draw two, don't I, basically? So I've shuffled these. Yep, shuffling. Live on camera. Now, I've got Proceeds Plan is out here. So that is also an option. Now I need to pick two more. Emergency evacuation. <laughs> Seems apt. Appropriate. <laughs> um, delaying tactics. Okay, right, let me have a read of these and see what these are. I've picked emergency evacuation. Um, essentially what that will mean is I need to get units to the centre and then I have to roll for them to see if they evacuate based on a numbers. It all depends on how many more of my units are left alive and I'll explain yeah. if it's relevant. The key, the key kicker here is even if it goes off and I get 30 points, I don't think I can catch you. Yeah, because I'm going to get 15 next turn. Yeah. Holding one, holding two, holding three in No Man's Land. Yes. Um, I mean, I've got Catcher Enemy Outpost still in play. For reference, uh, no prisoners, so kill units. It's a good one, that. Um, I mean, it might happen. I do have 10 boys inside here and a kill rig. So I think I might get that. Yep. Maybe. Yep. Squishy fire warriors just down by the old uh, yep. docks yep. up there. Yeah, a bit of a problem. Pumba's looking a bit famished. Yeah. <laughs> right, let me have a think. 
I have decided to succeed. <laughs> that doesn't. That's not a gambit. Like, um, well, let me just draw uh, the let gambit. Me find the, um, concede. Well, for me, that's probably. Does that your plan. emergency evacuation was from the studio? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to say, surely proceed as planned is just me conceding. That's normally what happens in my case. <laughs> proceed as planned. Yeah, we figured it out. Um, look, very, very fun. Well game. done, sir. Well um, done, I think sir. We were, we were just discussing some of this off camera. It's interesting for a lot of these matchups because it's a whole brave new world we're yep. going into. Like, I think that we've found is quite a rough mission for Tao, yeah, depending on what you're taking. Now, you could have, like, because turn one, you yes. could have moved the devilfish here to spawn it for sure, yeah, nine inches and then, like, away from it and then bring it back over here where, you're cri where you yes. knew your crisis suits were coming down. Come in. Yeah. And look, I mean, you've cleared part of that flank. Yes. If you had, like, one here as well. All of a yeah, sudden, exactly, it's like, okay, yeah. I've now got to go and deal with that. But because yeah. I have the ability to just straight up and pull it this way, because yeah. next turn I'm just going to bring the truck back over here, yeah. put it there, just on to there. give me some redundancy. I, I can only score 15 on it, yeah. but it gives me redundancy in case something horrible happens over here. I think it's a really interesting one for sort of shooting armies. If you don't get that first turn, sort of get some of the objectives on your side of the field, you're then going to struggle to go into no man's land to fight over stuff, which is quite interesting. I think most of the missions in ninth edition, uh, tenth edition rather are really quite punishing to garden lines yes. because a lot force of them you to be more active. force you like there's this one that i think there's another two or three missions which are like cool you score for no man's land yes. that's it you don't get to just yeah. sit on your home objective and because all of the missions are five objectives other than, i mean this is a bit of a weird one you know there's yeah. now six objectives um but for like sure because they are you need to be on no man's land you can't afford to be like oh just i'll i'll yeah. abide my time and for like two and turns later, and, then, yeah. and then score like 30 points later because you go well actually Cause even something like deploy servo skulls those objectives are going to be way back into your opponent's yep. deployment zone um so yeah it's yeah. a really interesting one i think um it's also a really interesting showing for tau and and the orcs yeah the orcs are <laughs> ostensibly a combat army if you could roll well, um, <laughs> and the Tau are a shooting, shooting army. army. That's yeah. all they do. The minute they, I mean, Tau have always had a always uh, hate them. relationship with minus ones to hit. Yeah. Um, the rivet cannon basically yeah. kept those guys out the game. Not out the game, but hitting yes. on fours rather than threes. Massive. But what it's made me think is that is a really good example. If I went for the double, the gener shield generator and the shield generator to make it really tanky, if I'd gone for a weapon support system, yep. then I would have ignored all modifiers. And I just go, oh dear. And then you suddenly make, so it's quite interesting that usually you just go for, well, I'll just make it really hard, I like, make them really tough to deal with because then they can just do what they want. But it's quite interesting to think about actually, I feel <coughs> intense, those kind of abilities are really a bit more potent. And the other thing as well is because of how cover works, yeah. it's like you literally just have one guy half behind a wall and you go, yeah, I'm getting, getting cover. cover. Yeah, Unless sure. you move out in such a weird way that the rest of your army gets to go, great, you're just yeah. out in the open. So at that point, and because of the way that the, sort of the, the overall damage has come down, mm -hmm. you could probably afford to go, you know what? Against anything that, even against stuff that's AP free, you're still yeah. getting a five up save if For you're sure. getting cover. Yeah. So is the shield generator and with six wounds yes yeah, six wounds is great you kind it's of, amazing it, you can really make them tough i think unfortunately i'm not sure how i feel about the riptide having seen how good the ghost kill oh, is man, the ghost kill i, I, I mean, think i said it, in the faction focus i he, knew they're gonna be good but he did spike today he did, he did spike today so well, it's not a, a completely fair representation we but have then, three of them painted but we do have we three do have three of them painted. painted i think realistically <laughs> just as a quick off the top of my head, if I was going from a competitive standpoint, so to speak, I'd go three ghost kills and probably two units of crisis suits. Because I think, it, I mean, the crisis suits are interesting. A lot of you points. Are, you are putting a lot of points in it's there. a lot of points. And also, these guys are a good example of when they can really shrug off. But I think you yeah. would, at that point, you'd put the weapon support systems on there. You'd have other ways of having two units makes them quite potent. Mm. Um, but I think the ghost kills are really, really interesting. Yeah. And definitely one to look into. Um, Meganobs are great. Maybe, maybe, I mean, they took they took a bit of a, um, uh, you know, I, I invested the points with the yeah. mega armor. With I the, think that's with quite the, the combo the, with the because um, he he brings one back. Yeah, um, you've got obviously uh, the uh, I've been using it all game. Yes, Arda's nails. Arda's nails. Um, Arda's nails for one CP is really good because you're pretty much um, probably always going to use it. Yeah, it's I. Yes, yes, you are. Yeah. Um, Squig Hogs did well just in terms of the amount of firepower they absorbed. Drawing absorbed. so much attention, yeah. Um, and they've always been quite good at that because they are that tougher squig hug of just they just they're such a missile yeah you kind of have to deal with them um but i mean you know they're orcs they're fun you know it's like they're you know, really you're fun, missing though. with everything and it's hilarious it's hilarious um you know and then bubbles good i mean bubbles are all right <laughs> bubbles are all right i think yeah the uh the, the rivet cannon was mvp 
Yeah, it's really so yeah. good. Um, um, obviously, I didn't get chance to show off Pumba and, yeah. and, and, and the crew. But yeah, um, I mean, I think the, the rivet cannons are quite well costed as well. So I think you definitely like you can look into running quite a few of those, and then any alpha unit your opponent's got, <laughs> just just need to hit it once. One hit, one hit. One hit. You got six shots, really so the odds are in your yeah. favour. Um, if you're in half range, they've got 36 inch range. You get more shots. If you've yeah. got three of them, you've got redundancy. Yeah. Like they're okay on the damage, but that's not what they're there for, yeah. frankly. Um, Broadside's yeah. pretty good as well. Broadside's are good, and again, that was with a bit of a whiffer of a showing. Yeah. Like here's the here's the weird thing. You had a whiffer, but you were still doing like as soon as Serious you hit turn damage, three, you yeah. just went and that flank yeah. is dead. Yeah. As soon as Kalyon powers up, it's like, <laughs> it's woo! like oh, that is fascinating, yeah. especially on stuff like rail guns. You get like triple hits. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the orc codex so that I can get a, a shooting detachment. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or a speed because I've always detachment. been a massive fan of the buggies. Um, Buggies are great. They've got just, so much flavour. Yeah. They're fun. They're fantastic. Fun. Yeah, um, yeah. A very fun game. Very I'm having fun an game. Thank you very much for the edition. It's great. I love um, it. Yeah, I hope you lot are as well. Uh, let us know in the comments yes, down please, please. below uh, how you enjoy this game, how you're enjoying your games of temp so far. What are you looking forward to seeing? Bard has a plethora of very, very cool matchups written in terms yeah. of matchups, thematic situations. Um, so uh, we've got lots of really, really cool Big matches yeah. for you to see both here and on on demand. There's as already well. been some absolute bangers on demand. So definitely check those. I out. I don't think we've had a bad game of temp so. No, far, I don't which think is we have. Usually a good yeah. indication. Um, and I, yeah, I just I, I will be using all the armies because I'm a maniac. <laughs> but until next time, I have been the pastry orc. You have been the Taubard. The Taubard. The Bard. The Bard. Bard. And Spider has been our servo skull. Beep, beep. You have been bosses. We will see you next time. Uh, bye bye. Welcome to Orc Town! Population me! Oh, hello. There's nothing suspicious about this at no, all. No, no, don't. That's controversial. <laughs> it, it could be controversial. <laughs> all right, boys, get some! Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm not actually using here we go as a stratagem, but it's more because it's fun to say. And because I made a normal move, I will be releasing a bomb squick. Yeah! This booster blaster is reversing. Boop, boop. This battle wagon is driving forward. Boop. Boop. <laughs> the pain train continues. <laughs> Walk. Mork. If you like fireworks and explosions, you're going to give me a six. Whoa! First war of 10th. That's nice. That felt good. <laughs>